I need a thing. Like, like a real thing. I'm about to get so much hate in the comments section. It's not even funny. What's up guys, welcome back to another Ginchat Impact video. And like I said, as you guys have seen, I did a thing. I made a tier list. Now, some of these units I don't have, um, I put it on a placeholder according to some people I've listened to and so on and so forth. But once I do get my hands on these units and I use them for myself, I'll be able to properly place them exactly how I feel they should be, uh, exactly how I think they should move around. For now, I have most of these characters, I just don't have all of them. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and run down the line for each and every one of them. So uh, let's get started. All right, so here is my presented tier list. We're gonna be talking about it for a little bit and exactly uh, how we're gonna go about uh, breaking it down. Obviously, this is not just based on damage and utility, it's based on every aspect of the character. We're talking about exploration, what do they bring to the team, uh, what do they bring on the four-man squad, reactive abilities, so on and so forth. So anyone who sees the loop right there on the S placing, please don't beat me up. <laughs> I really don't want you guys to. But uh, we're gonna break it down, it's very simple. Venti, uh, Kiki, and uh, Official. Amazing utility, 100%. The three best characters of the game, IMO. Uh, they just do way so much. Official being an archer, she can solve puzzles. Uh, obviously not the flame puzzles, but uh, the little plants that flow around, all of the uh, amino slimes, or uh, um, amino slimes that you can shoot for the puzzles and get the chest. Re really good utility for that. Also, Venti has that ability too. And uh, Kiki. She can see materials all over Ling Kui, or Ling Ku, which is really good. Um, good for character ascension stuff, especially her own material. And uh, Venti just does it all except as a main DPS. He He's very good reactionary. He's very good uh, for exploration. He's very good utility. He's very good support DPS. Overall, he's like probably the best character in the game, hands down, the best character in the game. And... Um, it, it, it shows just how versatile he is and so on and so forth. So uh, those are the big three. I'm, I'm going to dub them the big three. Official being a four star is kind of insane. And uh, it creates a lot of, I guess, rift between people of how good she is. Uh, being able to leave uh, not only her elemental burst or use her uh, elemental uh, attack to keep Oz on the field. And Oz takes damage from her on the last constellation to do damage. It's insane how much support she can do outside the field. She can go with a full main DPS build, so on and so forth. So every weakness that Venti has, which is main DPS, Official can cover it. But she also has her own utility that Venti also has. And uh, Chi Chi, best healer in the game, can actually do some damage. Very good reactionary hero. And because Ice is very valuable in this game. It's just, by and large, uh, these are probably your best three characters in the game at least the ones i've played from um i'm not going to talk about the ones i don't know of i know mona is really good for exploration and so is clee but i don't know exactly so if anything uh, on my twitch i might have you guys come on by uh you know twitch.tv slash that guy goki every wednesday thursday and saturday so tomorrow or today We'll probably try to do a community tier list and see how we place them. But from what I see, Klee and, and Mona, really good for exploration, really good for damage dealing. But they need certain constellations, or at least for Mona, she needs certain constellations to just 100% be a main DPS. And Klee is just good overall, she's just not as strong as the big three. Deluc, aka uh, Zaddy, Big Daddy, Daddy Deluc. I'm going to get so much hate for this, but Deluc... The reason why he's on the S tier is because he doesn't bring a lot to exploration. Um, he has a really good quality of life for claymores when building them, but claymores only. If it was for every weapon, he would probably be in double S, to be honest. Being able to save resources on every weapon that you're trying to build is really, really amazing. Um, but for DPS, he is king. Uh, it's really hard to, you know, just take that away from him. He has so much damage. You can do a full-on combo, combo to E, and then auto E, auto E, auto, and then end with Q. And for big, big damage, you can delete bosses with him instantly. He can solo, 
he doesn't really re need reactions to do certain things mid game. Uh, late game, he definitely doesn't re need reactions, but mid game, he can just at 70, he just run around and just toss the battlefield completely in his favor. Razor, I talked about Razor previously. I uh, made a tier list online before on my Twitch, and I say he's a high investment character. But he's just a really good electric unit. He can be a reactionary hero, or, which is tricky. He needs a little more setting up than, uh, than some of the other lightning heroes, but he's good at everything he's excel at. He go he's good at world exploration for the stamina bump. He is good for uh, DPS, and he's good as as you know, pretty much like a Deluke counterpart or, or like a discount Deluke in a sense, where he just does tons of damage. Um, build dependent, you can probably, I wouldn't say he rivals the looking damage. Uh, there is a, there's still a gap there, but he is a very good squad leader in terms of DPS for another squad. If you're trying to complete abyss, he's very good for that. And I think, um, with how easy his constellation would be able to be, he can definitely rival some of them up there, especially once he hits that threshold of being below 50% damage for a seven level 70 talent. He just gets crit on crit on crit, and that keeps his damage up there. Jean. So she's um she's actually pretty polarizing in the community. She's uh a lot of people put her like lower tier than this, like within A. I think she's she's deserving of S, mainly because of the utility she brings in battle compared to some of the other units below this. She can crowd control. She can knock things off off a building or high places. She can heal. She can she can create good anem uh, anemo damage, right? She can she can keep the team up. She can uh, and, and then on top of that, she can lay the. She's a good reactive. You can do some really good reactive stuff with her. Like she's a discount venti in that sense. I, I, I try not to use that word, but she's like another way. Like if you don't have venti, Jean's a good. A hero to do it and she also doubles as a healer really good now kaching she she can do absolute crazy reactionary stuff and support stuff uh, main dps she lacks a little bit and because of that um but because of that she's just not as strong as razor in that role but um honestly most people could switch kaching and razor out uh you can swap places uh if you feel that appropriate but uh, Kaching is one of those characters I'm not sure on yet. I haven't played with her, but the community loves her. And um, she does have utility in terms of like zipping around the map, and she could do that for exploration as well. Now, Bado, this character has landed in B tier for so long. Um, Bado is really good, though. She's really strong as a reactive hero and a support DPS, but not main DPS. She's weaker than Razor in that slot. And she's better than Razor in reactive DPS, but she needs a little more skillful play than most of the Electro healers. And I think that's what lends her to being in B for a lot of people. But she can definitely do Abyss at high levels pretty easily. You know, her, her E is very good, especially once you get constellations and get that permanent buff. Her level 70 is really good, like level 70 with the, the attack speed bump and the, um, I think movement speed bump or something like that. Really good for her. And then you have, um, using a great sword, meaning her damage scales pretty well compared to comparatively. Now, Barbara, I'm going to talk about Barbara right now. She's uh she's boring. I'll I'll just she plays herself very easy to use, very brainless healer, especially if you have the max constellations. She can easily just just you can turn off your brain and just go full Papega with her. She's not as good as Kiki, and she's not as excellent as Jean, but she's easy to max out because of the Venti banner right now. And being able to revive your main DPS after they just or relic uh, reckless as all heck is is actually astonishing how good um, that ability is. Uh, other than that, she can also double her chance of creating restorative items if you like food, you know. Um, really good unit, um, definitely a, a good healer, and I'm glad that everyone got her one, one for free at rank 20, which is really good. Makes it easier for everyone to, you know 
kind of like manage Abyss early on in the game. Now I don't have Chung Yoon, but Chung Yoon is, from what I know, excellent reactionary hero. Like he, like if you're missing ice on your team, or like you would like ice, you could just pop the circle and then just boom, right? And then uh, use uh, any electro ability to create superconduct, right? But Kachang. Razor or even Bado, right? You can use Bado's E to then put it on Chung Yun. Chung Yun use his E or his Q and then just go nuts on the opponent. From what I know, he's he he's very good in that aspect. Moving on to Sucrose. Don't know a lot about, but I know she's she can be a very, very good DPS. Uh she just needs investment in like Razor. Um maybe I might bump her up once I get her and start using her, but not exactly sure. Jiang Ling. So, she's an amazing support utility. I would say A, borderline S. I, I would say borderline A and S, right? Between, between that. Leaning toward the S side, for her Q at least. Muba is a little iffy to use, um, but the level 70 skill where Muba leaves a uh, damage modifier item on the ground is actually really good. Um, so it's, it, it's good support, even though MUBA on mobile bosses is actually really bad. But her, and, and her cooking skill is phenomenal, being able to uh, duplicate, um, uh, attack upping weapons and stuff. But, her exploration is complete trash. And that's what knocks the character down from being so high up in terms of utility and stuff to, like, to like just a tear because her her actual exploration ability is very very low and she can actually main dps it just takes the right weapon to do so and um as of now she's the only polearm user until we get Jiao. but um i would say if you haven't invested in her yet consider doing it because she's a really good support and user mainly mainly for abyss if anything you know, so. she she has her role. She's good at it, but she's not like an excellent character for exploration or anything like that. So, Ningguang, she's here mainly because she's good at one thing: DPS. Just straight DPS, 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 DPS. Good supportive DPS, good main DPS. She can do wall shenanigans, and she can, and her Q is really good for damage as well. She's just. You can you can use her to seal to wall people off. You can switch to a DPS like Mona and then chuck a blast at them and switch back to Ning Long and protect yourself over and over with wall. Just it's it's a very good aggressive but also defensive playstyle where you just like you kite the enemy and then you just go off. Um that's pretty much it with Ning Wong. With Ning Wong. She's she's just good at that role and um uh, apparently that makes her very weak, but I have the character. I've yet to test her, but from what I what I've seen and what I know of her kit, she's actually just very amazing within her role, and that's probably why it, she lands on B, for me at least. Um, she's just good at DPS, and that's it. Uh, she doesn't bring any new like reducing stamina, reducing swimming, uh, reduce glide time, something like that. Nothing like that. <laughs> Bennett, I have no absolute idea what he's about. Uh, apparently he gets really good on his final constellation. Um, but we'll see. As of now, I put him in B tier because that's how I feel comfortably about how the community talks about him and how uh, I perceive him. You know, I'm just being, being fully transparent. Like, Ben is there because of how the community perceives him. Uh, Kaya um, actually isn't bad. He, he has he can get damage if you build him properly he can get damage and because of his low cooldowns on his specials it's very very usable very very usable actually you can do some really good reactionary stuff for it and as a mini dps he's kind of average just a little bit uh, above average maybe uh, uh, like about there but um he's a tier to s tier in exploration mainly because you can freeze over water and that's actually pretty good allows you to walk on water uh, which is Mona, right? But uh, except he freezes. 
Zhang Q is uh, funky. I haven't used him yet, but um, it seems like no one really cares much for this character. So I'm leaving him be until I decide that I'm going to be using this character. So stick to for that. Uh, I will be changing this. This tier list will be changing as I get these characters and unlock these characters and then uh, it will be my judgment, my judgment alone, not just the communities. But I have to land Noel somewhere here. Now Noel is an amazing healer. Like top tier healer. She's very, very good for healing. Very good defensively. She's the probably the best defensive hero in the game next to Kiki. Or Chi Chi. But I can't for for I can't put my finger on why she's just she's not good. Like I I guess as main DPS, she's pretty weak. As a reactionary hero, her E skill is also pretty weak. And her uh, burst is good, but only as like a main character. So I've seen interesting things with her. I've seen solos and stuff. She can she's a brick house. She she can keep her HP up. She can keep her defense up. She will never die. Um, you uh, on her last conversation uh, constellation, sh she takes her attack and then 50% of that. I mean, or f takes her defense and 50% of that total goes into her attack, which is really good, actually. So if your defense is rocking at 2,000 for your Noel, you can easily take a 1,000 defense and just slap into her attack, which is good, which is really good, actually. So if her attack is like 600, and then your defense finally transfers over to your uh, attack, and you're at 1,600, that's really excellent, actually, for this character. And then Lisa is C, but she... You know, C is for normal people. She's probably here for all the men of culture in uh, watching the video right now and all that stuff. But uh, no, she's definitely here. And Ever is good at solving puzzles. Um, pretty average character all around, though. Uh, she does need a buff, maybe. Uh, I hope Mihoyo uh, probably maybe buffs her. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'd rather see buffs than nerfs. Um, but for, really for characters here, uh, I don't think you really need to buff characters here, but if you can move characters like Noelle, if you can slowly cut the, if you can slowly make it like this, I think this would like be better for the game overall. But as of now, like, Amber is, I, I wouldn't say they're unusable though, but Amber is, um, he's very tricky to use for sure. Well, uh, that's it for the tier list. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this explanation on why some of these characters are so strong by Venti, Chi Chi, and, and uh, you can you can consider getting all three of these characters on the higher end, some of the best characters in the game, um, just for like quality of life, combat, exploration, so on and so forth. It's it's unsurmountable what these uh, those three can do, um, and then obviously. Uh, like I said, Deluke falls short in that line because he just, he doesn't have the utility that others have, but he's a great DPS. He's the best DPS in the game. You should be using him regardless of what I say. Take what I say a grain of salt, but it doesn't matter. If they are your favorites, use them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment in the video. Let me know your tier list, how you, you would have changed this. Remember, it includes everything. DPS, exploration, everything, remember. Remember that when you make your tier list. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Yeah. Hit the red button. No, you want to. You know you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one.